the industry in 2001 was very celebrity based and very rock and roll and I mean and we had a, a, a vision of where we wanted to be as hairdressers and you know what we wanted our company to be we didn't want to just be like oh that's what everyone else is doing let's jump on the bandwagon and do it we wanted to stay true to our values of you know that passion to the to the hairdressing craft so we kind of went our own way and do you know what we've and that we've, attracted yeah. some amazing people to yeah. come and work with us brooks and brooks can't stand out as a you know as in as a salon or a company that leads if we're just following this business for me was born out of a passion for the craft um, and an integrity to the craft as a company we have always been bold it doesn't mean that every time that we do something, people like it or it works, but that is really important to me that we challenge. And to be successful in business, I think one of the main things you have to do is you've got to be prepared to actually take risks. There have been lots of periods throughout, obviously, the Brooks and Brooks history where the salon hasn't necessarily gone or the company hasn't gone where we wanted to. But what is really, really important as bosses is you take that on board and you learn from it. Yeah. Like we. You know, we had never done this obviously before, we'd never owned a salon, and we learned along the way. And yes, we made mistakes, but you have to be big enough to admit them, learn from them, and move on. I, I think that the word collaboration is a really vital word at the moment. We have, for a long time as a business, been associated with L'Oreal Professional Paris. Um, and associating with a brand, you have to be on the same wavelength. Their creative way of thinking is something that fits our brand really well. We're quite picky about what we say yes to. We don't say yes to everything. We're not driven by money. We never have been. Every single job has to be looked at on its own, on its on own, its own, own merit. merit. We're very good at balancing the team and finding their creativity and pulling that through. One of my staff said to me recently, who motivates the motivator? And I think that's a really interesting sentence. You have to give back. You can't just be motivated you have to motivate the motivator. We want our bottom level apprentice equally as inspired as our art director. We're having a clear out because we're moving. We have had a salon here for 20 years and they are shutting the avenue down for redevelopment. They want to just throw everything out. But what's been really amazing is because Jamie doesn't throw everything out, is what we found, the old magazines, the old archive stuff, pictures of us that we look about five years old and it's really reminded us of where we started and where we've come to. I, I think sometimes you need to look, you know, you need to look backwards yeah. in order to then kind of move forwards. I'm so excited about moving premises. It means that we can rebrand, refocus and change everything that we've been doing. The, the ethos of the company will never change, the integrity for the craft will never change, but what it gives us is a new environment to actually do something different. For us, it's a whole new journey. So we have to rebrand, we have to work harder, we have to be inventive again. What I don't want to do is just transfer an old company to a new building. Yeah. Everything about the business is changing. Change doesn't mean it's from one extreme to another. And I think that sometimes it's the same when you cut somebody's hair. Change for them can be changing the parting, but it's actually all about the smallest detail. And what we're doing is changing everything about the smallest detail. But as long as your foundations are solid, change is a good thing because it just, change is just evolving. That's all it is. This gives us all a fresh start. This is not, our business is not about me and Jamie. It's about the people we work with. And it always has been about the people we work with, whoever they are. And that, I think, is a really important part of Brooks and Brooks. I personally hope there will be a point where we will have people who will be so culturally strong with us, they will almost push us out and we will naturally move off and they will slot into our place and Brooks and Brooks retains that creative edge without us. That 100% happens now. They talk about our company and our beliefs as though it's their own. They own the brand. I don't want to have left here and, you know, 10 years later, look back and go, wow, this salon used to be amazing. I want to be able to walk back into the salon and go, this is exactly what I hoped Set it would be. Set out to do.